Today on Clearing the Clutter Inside and Out, we are talking about traveling and packing with children. Have you ever forgotten your child's favorite stuffed animal or blankie? Did you run out of diapers because there was an eight hour delay at the airport? Are you prepared for something minor like a headache? Let's have some easy clutter-free travel with children as we finish our month focusing on summertime. Are you overwhelmed by clutter? Looking to organize your life? Do you feel stuck and are ready for a change? Every Tuesday at 1 p.m., join award-winning professional organizer and coach Julie Caraccio on clearing the clutter inside and out as she supports you in navigating the waters of decluttering your life and getting organized. Julie thinks outside the box and examines clutter in all areas, physical, mental, emotional, spiritual, energetic, and more. Ready to live a more joyful and fulfilling life? Traveling with children. It doesn't have to be a nightmare traveling with kids, and you don't have to be a pain for everyone else. Younger children. If possible, travel during nap time. Look for family-friendly hotels. TripAdvisor is great. If you see a lot of college kids commenting how they love the place, you probably aren't going to want to stay there. When you reserve your room, ask for a crib and ask about babysitting services. If traveling overseas, check in with your pediatrician and any advice they may have. Check the country you're traveling to about immunizations. As more and more parents are forgoing, you may need to see what the restriction in other countries are. Some specific tips when traveling. By plane, get all seats next together when you travel. Not all people are willing to move or change seats. Double check seating when you arrive at the airport. Some items you will want in your carry-on or in your child's backpack. Diapers, plastic bags, wipes, ointment, snacks, medicines, blankie, toys, books. Either dress in layers or have on hand with the variation in cabin pressure and temperature. Spend time with your children. Even if you are tired, be aware of what your children are doing and make sure they aren't disturbing other passengers. There's nothing like having a child kick your seat when you are trying to sleep. I had two parents recently with two kids behind me on a commuter flight. The most impressed I've ever been. The one child must have asked 6,000 questions on a 30-minute flight. The parents were rock stars, though. They really spent quality time with their kids and made sure that they weren't disturbing any of the passengers around them. When you get to the hotel, check the crib for sturdiness and order extra towels to roll up and use as bumpers in the crib. Baby-proof the room by covering outlets with tape. Try and get a room without a glass table. Here are some tips for traveling with older kids. Have a creativity bag with puzzles, art supplies, and other activities. Assist your child with packing, but let them pack their bag with what they want to take along. Stuffed animals games, books in their backpack. Double check to make sure it doesn't weigh too much. See if your destination or hotel has activities for children so they can meet other kids of similar ages. Make sure they have entertainment such as their iPod or electronic Game Boy. Packing. I was reading an article on familyvacationcritic.com and they had an article, 14 Family Travel Mistakes Not to Make. Number seven. The only thing worse than a long flight is a long flight with kids, so don't ever come unprepared. I have you covered today for number seven. Make a checklist of must-haves. Stuffed animals, pacifier, clothing, toys, books, etc. Go through your day, morning, noon, and night, and record what you need to pack. Make one person in charge of packing. Pack a change of clothes that is easily accessible if a child gets sick or spills something. Make sure to pack drinks and snacks and have extras, like diapers, on hand. If your plane is delayed, you don't want to worry about running out of diapers. I always take a little medicine cabinet for colds, a pair of tweezers, and band-aids to deal with any minor sickness. If you are using a sling to carry your child, make sure you pack that. Are you feeling stuck? Does your mind always seem to go a million miles a minute? Can you easily navigate the ups and downs of life? 
the journey of a thousand miles begins with one step. As a lifestyle coach, Julie supports you in your self-development and well-being by showing you how to declutter your life. She considers herself a CPO, Chief Possibility Officer, because our possibilities are endless. Ready to take the next step? Schedule a free 30-minute consultation. Learn more at reawakenyourbrilliance.com. If your child will be going to camp, here are some considerations. Find out how often clothes are washed at camp so you have an idea of how much to pack. Include an extra pillowcase to put dirty laundry in. The camp should also provide a list of recommended clothing your child will need for all activities, which might include sports, dress up for dances, or themed days such as dress as your favorite character. Consider sending older clothes as they might take a beating and purchasing new clothes upon return. Also ask if you need to provide towels, sheets, blankets, and pillows. I always check the weather before I travel to get an idea of what to expect. I am a huge fan of weather underground. Remember that temperatures can still get cool at night and to pack a jacket, hat, and possibly gloves. I worked in Maine during my college summers and it could get really cold at night. If you go to camp every summer, keep a master checklist of what you take. At the end of camp, when you return, make notes of anything that needs to be added or deleted. Have your child pack with you so they know what they are bringing and they don't forget anything important like a journal. I suggest beginning packing two to three weeks in advance to make it easier. If you wait until the last minute, you might forget something. Put your child's name or initials on everything with sew on labels or a laundry marker. Have a small carry-on basket for toiletries that can easily be taken to and from the shower. Also include flip-flops. Let the camp know about any medicines your child might need to take. Send the medicines in the original container, which should include all important information. Write out any explicit instructions. Some camps may also require a signed medical release form. Finally, some other items you might want to pack. Insect repellent, sunscreen, calamine lotion, lip balm, snacks, games, and a water bottle. Takeaways from today's podcast. For babies and young children, make a checklist of must-have. Stuffed animals, pacifiers, clothing, toys, books, etc. Go through your day, morning, noon, and night and record what you need to pack. Have one person be in charge of packing. Look for family-friendly hotels. TripAdvisor is great. If you see a lot of college kids commenting how they love the place, you probably don't want to make a reservation there. When you reserve your room, ask for a crib and ask about babysitting services. Spend time with your children. Even if you are tired, be aware of what your children are doing and make sure they aren't disturbing other passengers. Go out, clear the clutter to create the life you choose, deserve, and desire. Ready to clear clutter and share your gifts with the world? The journey of a thousand miles begins with one step, so what step will you take today? Sign up for our newsletter and receive a free copy of our 10 Steps to Clearing Clutter. Julie Caraccio provides coaching, professional organizing and speaking, organizing classes, positive affirmations, and her unique How to Declutter Your Life course. Learn more at reawakenyourbrilliance.com. Subscribe to Clearing the Clutter Inside and Out and join us next Tuesday at 1 p.m.